Hello and welcome. Today we're going to take a look at how to rotate a video. Let's just drag in a video. Um, also text. Let's enable the timeline, drag the video to the timeline. And we can get started. Uh, let's see which part. Maybe this part. We're going to split it two times. All right. So normal, rotated, normal. That's what we want. Let's go to filters for this. Let's make sure that you have the part selected, the clip selected that you want to rotate. I, by the way, I cut this or split this using the S key on the keyboard. You can use uh, what? Where's the button? Where's the button? Where's the button? The button is here. Split at playhead. All right. Anyways, back to filters, right? Here is a plus button. Hit that plus button. Here down here should be some icons. If not, please let me know in the comments what you see there because people have been telling me that I don't see these icons and I really want to know what they see instead. So in the tab that has the monitor icon or if you move a mouse over it shows show video filters, click that and then scroll down until you see rotate. It's alphabetical. So, you know, after O comes rotate. You can also hit this star, then it will always appear in the first tab. Uh, rotate. Anyways, rotate. And here you have scale x offset y offset rotation. We're just gonna we're just gonna go ahead and play with rotation and make sure that the playhead is inside the clip. And you can see we that's how it goes. And I wanted it to be a bit a bit like that. If you want it to be exactly like you know rotate by 90 degrees, 180, 270, 270, 80, 280. All right, let's do it like that. Let's uh, maybe scale a little and I think the Y offset. No, that's wrong. Let's do Y offset before the rotation. So it should be the X offset. Right, because I want to see the face. Okay. So that's how it goes. Let's play this back and just check it out real quick. All right. And no, you cannot do fluent uh, rotation yet. You cannot move it unless you go frame by frame, which I guess I can show you. I mean, if I zoom in real deep, and for this, I think we need to save this project, it might crash. So if I split here, and uh, I guess I increase this by one. then I split again. Yeah, let's just make these. And I'll just increase each of these, oh, by one degree. All right, let's just hit that save button again and try it out. Okay, shortcut is not good at showing this. But you can see if you look at the black lines, that kind of kind of go get yeah kind of gets rotated. But yeah, you know it works. Uh, and let's just render this uh, so we can take a look at it how it looks rendered. And well, yeah, it's a bit smoother, but you really have to do a lot of work if you want to have it be more noticeable. Zoop, zoop. All right, so so much for rotating video. Now we're gonna rotate text. Let me just close the export uh, tab. The filter tab we're gonna need. I'm gonna zoom out with shift mouse wheel in the timeline. And I'm gonna create a new track. Video track. A little more space for it. Don't need the jobs. And now what we could do is uh, add text to this clip using, for example, the text filter. All right. So, I mean, what if we want to rotate this? There is no feature in the text filter. We only have position, size, fit, and that would be it. So, if we apply the rotation filter, rotate filter on this and start rotating, we will rotate both the video and the text. And we would rather not do that. So let's uh, save, undo the rotate. 
We're going to keep the text so we can copy it later. But for now, let's go to File, Open Other. And here we're going to go to Generator, Color. We're going to select any color and set Alpha Channel to 0. Press OK. And these 0, 0 at the front indicate that it is indeed 0 Alpha, even though usually these would be at the end, I think. And press OK. Or maybe it's a different end video than in web. And now this is clip we will drag to the timeline on this new track we created and jump back to the beginning. I'm going to use position one or home. I'm going to use alt right uh, keyboard key to jump to this cut. I'm going to press S to split this and right click remove this part. Never mind. Let, let's undo that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, we have an autosave file. That's cool. So uh, again, we're going to alt right arrow key. And then I'm going to split this and now I'm going to press the delete key not to remove, but the delete key on the keyboard, which just all right, all right, there we go. Okay, okay, everything looks fine. Now we're going to transfer this uh, filter from this clip to that clip. So we're going to press the copy the filters, and then click on this clip, which is transparent, paste it here, click on the video tr uh, clip and remove the filter. And now let's hope we can apply the rotation filter to this rotate. It totally works. Awesome. In case it doesn't work for you, make sure you have the latest shortcut. I'm using 18.3.6. There should be an update soon, so you will probably get 18.4 uh, or later. So basically, that's what you can do. I don't recommend that you use the scale to scale up. It will probably decrease quality. But hey, knock yourself out. And uh, if you want it to go from one end to the other, just... Let me just resize this and position should be zero zero uh, zero all right okay so this way it will be from one end to the other we can increase a I will keep this font size add a bit of rotation yeah this looks good so this is it. This is how you rotate text and video. I hope this helped. Please subscribe to support this channel and I will see you next time. Until then, ciao!